Okay, so real quick today I want to do a, a demo on alcohol inks. And I, I, I get frustrated because a lot of people can't use alcohol inks or don't think that they can, um, that you have to just use it on glossy paper, and you don't. All I'm using is regular cardstock. Could be regular printer paper, whatever you have. I had cardstock. I have three different applications, and then I'm going to show you something completely different. Um, this is cardstock, and what I have on this piece, this is my yucky uh, <laughs> soap pad, so, um, is 3D crystal lacquer, which is one of my favorite things in the world. So, what I'm going to show you is I have two inks. First, I'm going to show you this. And, that, and what I did was I just took my paper and coated it with the crystal lacquer. Now, when you're doing a piece of mixed media or painting or whatever and you want this look, um, you can just put it in a section where you want it. Um, or, do, or if you want to make a background and then cut it into pieces or cut out pieces or what have you, this is a great way to do it. But I'm going to show you the different techniques with the different coatings. Again, 3D crystal lacquer. And you see how that works. And that's just dripping. Now you can add your little bit of alcohol. That is the normal alcohol blending solution. Next I'll show you. I'll just let it drip. Okay, now I love to use just regular 91% alcohol. So you can see in here you get some texture, which I love. Um, I use this for the grunge, grunge look. Uh, as you can see, let me see how close we can get it. You can see the strokes in here, which I love. I mean, it's one of my favorite things. Now, I'm going to use this over here. Make sure you can see it. Just going to do a drop there. A drop there, and they blend nicely. Now, I would have this in a spray bottle. I don't have a spray bottle right this second. But you can see by just using alcohol itself how it mixes, and it runs, and it runs down, and it's going to reactivate that. So I myself like using. Both. I like using the alcohol blending solution. And I'm going to see if you can see that. And I like using the regular alcohol. And you can use 70%, it doesn't matter. That's the blending solution. And it's a little less harsher. You, you know, you could probably get away with using the 70% regular alcohol to get. But like I said, you can reactivate this. This is great. Now, I have the, again, this is on the crystal lacquer, 3D crystal lacquer, nah, 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 one of my favorite things in the world, coated paper. Okay, so that, you saw what we did there. Now I'm going to use my little inker. And these pads you, you buy, but all this is is felt. You can get like thin felt, cut them in pieces, and you have your own to add on here because it's just a Velcro. But you can use anything. I mean, you don't necessarily have to spend the money for this. Um, so I'm going to put color on here. I'm just using red and blue today because that's what I grabbed. Some color. My dogs are going to play behind me, of course. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the inker. Okay, the blending solution. Now look at that. This is just regular paper. So to do a background, <laughs> okay, this is regular paper coated with 3D crystal lacquer. Look how cool. Okay, so that's our one demo. This is with Elmer's glue. 
since I have this on here now, let's see how this works. This is just plain old Elmer's glue. And it does just as good. Again, you twist, you do your thing. I'm running out of ink on here so you can see. So you could coat it just like plain old. My dogs are playing. Plain old Elmer's glow. How fun. Okay? Now we'll do our drip. Look. Now again, that was after, I mean that was like the extra left over from the other. But you see, it's on here, it's going to dry quick, and you have a whole other technique. whole other technique. I also, you know what, I'm going to do real quick. I can get this out here. I'll be with you in a second. I like showing different things. Um, I like showing different things that work. That you don't have to go out and spend a fortune on. You know? Because we all don't have a lot of money. And... For instance, the 3D Sakura um, crystal lacquer isn't expensive, and the stuff you can do with it, it dries great. The stuff you can do with it is absolutely phenomenal. So, you know, it's great. Okay, remember, this is the Elmer. Elmer's uh, regular glue, school glue. And we're going to drip and drip. You can see it absorbs in a little bit more than the Sakura. However, is it an issue? Not that much. A little drop. Just spreads. Now my other dog wants in because he wants to play. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so that's that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to use it with a little bit of regular alcohol. And I'm going to do it right here. I'm just going to do the one color. i got to get a little... I do have a thing for this, but I can't seem to find it. And I hate that. I have like a thing I put in there. The, the dogs must have chewed, which is always enjoyable. Let's see if I can't get this cut. Hey, would it be me if it was any other way? And now it's not long enough, but I'll just unscrew it. Okay. I use a little dropper. It's just like this. You can get it for the kids' medicine. But you see how that makes it run. I can re-ink over here. Now you can see in this paper, it, the paper absorbs it a little bit more than with the Sakura because the Sakura is glossy. But you get the deal. I mean you get the same, same, you know, type of thing. And then if you want to kind of just pat You know, whatever you want. And you can see here where I dropped the alcohol and it made it like pull to one side. So this is a great alternative too if you can't afford everything and you just go to the dollar store and buy plain white glue and coat, excuse me, coat your paper, you're good to go there. Now this is with, um, I don't have it sitting here right now, do I? Oh yeah, there, right in front of me. Collage Paws uh, Glossy, which I have on hand for quick things. Um, I was going to use my good Golden or Liquitex um, Glossy, but I thought, let me try this because I really don't use the Collage Paws that much. So, let's see what we get with this. And it's very, you can see it's very, very glossy, like the Sakura. 
the score is a bit glossier, which I like, but this, you know. So we're going to do some drops. We're going to do some drops. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of alcohol. I need more. And then we're going to blend it. And again, these are two dark colors, so you get all kinds of cool different purples and and this one I did a little technique on. That'll dry so very quick clearly. I mean quickly, and you have that. Now, let's use our anchor. I'll put some more red, some blue, some of the regular blending solution, and let's see what we got. Now a fun way to start this out is If you do the different patterns, I'm gonna I'm gonna ink this with some blue and red and try the alcohol. You can go through and 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 sketch out like if you see something. Do you know what I mean? You know how sometimes you go you you do like patterns and you see something and you're like oh my goodness, you could sketch it out. Look how the alcohol regular alcohol works. Okay. So this is on Collage Posh. It has to be glossy, but this is just regular paper. Okay, so we have that. Now, my other thing I want to do, I did that. I have two more things to show you. This is just, I want to do, well, let, you know what, let me finish what my thought process because that would be good. While we're doing I'm just going to use that piece of paper. Well, let me show you this, which is even funner. More fun, funner, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I'm going to spray. Now, you can mix. I would probably mix my paint in here with water, but I'm just going to do this right now. I'm going to spray some water on my paper. There's nothing on this paper. It's just paper. And I'm going to paint. I probably should have used a darker color, but... But I want the water on there. And you take your regular, just alcohol. See, it's not going to show as much because of the color. It's not dark enough. Let me try a, different, a darker color so you can really see. Let's do a, yeah. I'll mix it. Just because. And I'll show you how I'll do it. That way you guys can see. So I just squirted, put some in there. I'm going to squirt water. I'm going to mix it because you want it watery. You can use watercolors and add a little bit of water. This is just a regular acrylic of paint. Acrylic of paint. It turned all of a sudden. My Italian roots came out. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so we're painting, painting, painting. Okay. Now let's take our alcohol. Let me make sure we get this. Look. Plain alcohol and regular paint. Look how cool. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can get it up here. Yeah, the other color is way too light to for you to see on camera. So let's try. And there's this is just regular paper. Look. How? I'm going to say it. Freaking fun. Okay. 
Okay, that is acrylic paint with water with just regular alcohol. That's 91% alcohol. If you have 70, it works the same. You have your homemade alcohol ink right there. Okay? It's genius. Try it. Play. Now, for my last, my last thing. Okay. Let me just show you. How fun is that? You don't have to go buy any alcohol inks. All you have to go to buy is your alcohol. This is 91%. You can use, I think there's 70%. A lot of people have round. Sit and play. Sit and play. I mean, look how fun. Okay. Last thing. Promise. <laughs> I just love helping people save money. Okay, alcohol inks, we're done. I'm going to show you a really quick, fun thing. Okay, so, regular piece of paper, right? Nothing on it. Nothing. Let's get in camera, that would help. I painted it an undercoat of color. Now, what I'm going to do is take my regular white glue. I'm going to squirt it on. I've shown this a thousand times, but I'm showing it again. Because I love it. off my brush here a little bit. I'm going to turn on my cleaner. So you have your glue. You just hold on to it and take it one way. One brush should be fine. Yeah, one brush down. You can see that you missed a little bit. While it is wet, listen to me, while it is wet, you take the color you want to put over it. What we'll do today is just do the color I had out prior. And I'm going to squeeze, hopefully, it out. Okay. And this is just a, it's a that's some metallic gold, antique gold. And I'm going to just, while the glue is wet, I'm trying not to work it too much. It's probably a crappy color to put on there, but I'll mix a little bit. I just want a little bit of well that's quite a bit. It'll take a minute to dry, but I'll go over it in some of the spots to give you an idea. So you can see both. Now I'm not going to use my dryer, but I'm just going to we're just going to sit and leave it sit for a second. And I don't think I have any. Okay, so let's go over real quick. I'm going to show you the pictures real quick while that sets up for a minute, and then you'll see what that's going to do. Okay, so here we have our acrylic paint and just alcohol. Watered down acrylic paint and alcohol and that's what you get from that. And that's a different look. Okay? <clears throat> this is on collage podged paper. It's regular um, cardstock. I coated it with one coat of collage podge and the alcohol inks. I used the felt that you can make yourself or use what you know buy what they have use a coupon at AC Moore Hobby Lobby or Michaels and that's what I did with this this is just Elmer's glue it's a less um, how do you say a, a less affected look but you can still play as you can see and you know, if you have, if you want to play with them and you don't know what to do, that's a good way to do it. I might do two coats of that Elmer's glue on here. 
And my favorite one is the Sakura um, 3D crust, cr uh, Crystal Lacquer. And the reason I love it so is because if you can see, that I'm trying to get without a glare. I moved my camera. I'm trying to get my room in order here. But you can see the difference and you can also see the distressed look. Which I did not get with any other any other thing. Well let's see if this is starting to work. Come on baby. Let me see if I can dry it for a minute. <clears throat> to speed it up. Usually it's better to leave it air dry, but it's humid. Now I put down a, a, a bottom coat. Yeah, this is better. Watch it happening. Let's see. Watch it happening. Don't keep the gun in one place. Just keep kind of rolling it around. <coughs> All I did was paint it a base coat down of whatever color you want. I then put on regular white school glue after the base coat was dry. While those after right after I put on the school glue, while it was wet, I painted over with the color I wanted over. And can you see what's happening? Now if I hold it right here, you'll see it bubble. I don't want it to bubble. Sometimes I do. Like watch. And that gives you a whole new technique, but that's not what I'm trying to show you right now. Okay, another minute, and then I'll show you. And these are things I like to do. These are the kind of videos I like to do because it just shows you that you could do this stuff. I also painted it to my thing, but that's okay. Look. We got crackle, baby. Crackle. Look how cool. Let's see if I can get it here to see that? You see the green underneath? Look how cool. Crackle. And you can see here in the middle where it cracked a little bit because I only had that little bit on there. And then here's my bubble. You know, I'm taping on the YouTube thing today, which I hate. I should have just used my regular camera thing. But, you know, that gives you a whole other, whole other texture, too. But look. Look how cool. And all that is is a base coat of regular paint dry, a coat of the uh, white school craft glue. While that's wet, you put on whatever top color you want. You can leave it dry regular. You could use your... Like I said, your um, heat gun if you want. And you got crackle, baby. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you guys try some of these and do them on your uh, YouTube or make videos. And let me see. Use them in your projects. These are great, inexpensive ways to, to, to do things that you see other people do that you wish you could do but you can't afford. Well, guess what? You can. And very quickly... To make alcohol inks, take your 70% or your 91% alcohol, whatever you have on hand. You fill your little bottle, um, you know, if you have like a squirt bottle, or you can use your old, whatever you have. I, I use squirt bottles, whatever. You fill it. You um, maybe with like a, a quarter of the alcohol, and then you use liquid dye and depending on how dark you want it and you shake it and you use it and you have your own alcohol ink but like I said with this one where to go, where to go, where to go with this one right here with just your acrylic paint watered down and regular alcohol you don't need to do it you can just have fun and play so I hope you all enjoyed this leave me comments share the video I appreciate it and I hope you all have a great weekend thank you